Yes, thank you, Lord. We give you the glory and the honor. Yes. Come on, lift your hands for a moment and just thank Him. Come on, respond. Thank Him. Worship Him. Thank Him for your breakthrough. Thank Him for your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for forgiveness this morning. If you need forgiveness this morning, just ask Him right now. He loves you. Hallelujah. His blood is washes. Come on. Thank you for the cleansing power in the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory and all the honor. We are not ashamed of the cross. The price, hallelujah, was paid for us. It's done. It's finished. Thank God for the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Receive your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say the best is yet to come for you. Come on, speak it out. Do you believe it? Amen. Matthew 5, if you have your Bible with you this morning, Matthew chapter 5. Let's read from verse 43. Choose to bless, part 4. And make sure to get the whole series. It's very important. And it will help you and it will bless you. Matthew 5 verse 43 says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor, your fellow man, I'm reading from the Amplified Version, and hate your enemy. That was the Old Covenant, the Old Testament. But I say to you, this is now New Testament, New Covenant. Amen. Season of grace, thank God for grace. But I say to you, love that is unselfishly seek the best or higher good for your enemies. <laughs> Did you check that out? Let me read that again. I say to you, love, and that means to unselfishly seek the best or higher good for your enemy. Amen. Ouch. He says, And pray for those who persecute you, so that you may show yourselves to be children of your Father who is in heaven. For He makes His sun rise on those who are evil, and on those who are good. Come on, check this out. And makes the rain fall on the righteous, those who are morally upright. And the unrighteous, the unrepentant, those who oppose Him. For if you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do that. And if you greet only your brothers, wishing them God's blessing, check that out, and peace, what more than others are you doing? Do not even the Gentiles who do not know the Lord do that. You therefore will be perfect, growing into spiritual maturity. This is remarkable. This is so powerful. The Amplified. Get the Amplified if you don't have an Amplified. Check this out. You will be perfect. Growing into spiritual maturity both in mind and character. Actively integrating godly values into your daily life. As your heavenly father is perfect. Now this is not easy. But it's possible. Say with me, this is not easy. But it's possible. By the grace of God. It's not easy. To love your enemies. Some of you maybe don't have enemies. So you don't know what I'm talking about. 
it's not easy to pray for those who persecute you. It's not easy to love your enemies and to pray for those who persecute you and to do good to those who hate you. Now, I want to bring this close to home because family is important to us. Many people think about enemies only about people somewhere far off. What about your own family, maybe your own marriage? In-laws, friends, family, neighbors, people that maybe they don't like you. The Bible says we should love our enemies. And this morning, by the grace of God, we are trusting the Holy Spirit to help us to bless our enemies. Amen. Write that down. How do you bless your enemies? Well, we should pray for them. The Lord Jesus Himself said that our Heavenly Father is blessing everybody. In fact, He says He loves us all. He's the one that gave rain to the righteous and the unrighteous. unrighteous. The sun came up this morning, check this out, for all of us, the righteous and the unrighteous. unrighteous. Why? Because it's God's will that everybody will get saved. Amen. For God so loved the world that He gave Jesus. So we should pray for our enemies. We should bless our enemies. We should speak life. Words of blessing. Words of life and blessing should come out of our mouths. And if we can't say anything good, zipper, lip, rather keep quiet. Let's read this again. He says, you should love your enemies. You should pray for those who persecute you. Huh? He says, then we will become like our Heavenly Father. He says, then we will be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. In other words, when you love people the way He loves people. Huh? When we forgive people, check this out, the way He forgives us. The Bible says, we should forgive one another like He forgives us. The Bible says, if we don't forgive, He will not forgive us. There's many people, they walk around with bitterness, and with unforgiveness in their hearts. And I just feel led by the Holy Spirit. I feel prompted to tell you this morning, if it's you, please repent and do it right now. Please, by the help of the Holy Spirit, get that bitterness out of your heart. Get that unforgiveness out of your heart. Why? Those things will make you sick. In fact, those things will kill you at the end of the day. Amen. The devil will use unforgiveness and bitterness against you to make your body sick. Amen. So, bless your enemies. That's not easy, but it's possible. Can you say amen? And so, amen. in this series, to bless, we must make a decision to speak words of life. Amen. And even to bless those who persecute us. Even to bless those who criticize us. Come on. Even those who don't like us. Amen. Many people say, you know what, I love him, but I don't like him. Imagine that God would say something like that about you. You know, I love him, but I don't like him. That's what we do. We all should repent this morning and say, Father, we want to be like you. And Jesus said, as when we can love the way he loves and forgives the way he forgives, come on, and bless the way he bless, we will become perfect. He says, it doesn't help you only do good to those who is doing good to you. It doesn't help you only greet those people who are greeting you, you know. You only love those people that, that, that they say they love you and they do well, you know, unto you. No, no. He says you should love your enemies. Amen. You should bless those who curse you. You should bless those who persecute you. Maybe at the job, maybe your boss, maybe fellow workers, come on, maybe family, maybe in-laws, maybe neighbors. Maybe at the school or the university, you have... Like I call it an enemy. And the, and the Bible says, for us to become perfect, 
To become like our Heavenly Father, we should love people. We should bless people. Because the sun shines this morning and He gives rain and He gives sunshine to all of us. Because the goodness of God, the Bible says, will lead people to repentance. When people see the goodness of God, yes, then they want to repent. When they see the goodness and the love of Jesus in us, I want you to know this morning that love will always conquer. Amen. Love will always win. Can you say amen? amen? How will we change those family matters? How will we change those circumstances? Come on, in our houses, our marriages. So many people are unhappy and filled with bitterness and anger. How, how are you going to change that? By the love of Jesus. Amen. By becoming perfect in love. Check this out. By becoming perfect and in blessing people. By speaking life. Not only to those who bless you. He said, bless those who curse you. Bless your enemies. So, it's not easy, but it's possible. Amen. And if we can bless also our enemies on a daily basis, you will change the atmosphere Amen. where you work, at your business place. Come on, check this out. This is important. Your own family will change. People say stuff like, yeah, but he insulted me. You know, and he did this and he did that. And he said this and he said that. Yeah, I know God knows. But we want to be like Jesus. And he says, then you will become perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect when you love everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, even on the cross, Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And there's many people, let me tell you, let me help you. They don't, they don't know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. They don't like you because they are jealous. But you know why? It's because they feel insecure. But we that are filled by the Holy Spirit, we are not better than them, but we, we're supposed to love like Jesus loves. Can you say amen? We're supposed to bless, come on, like God bless. We're supposed to forgive like He forgives. He says otherwise, you, you, you like the tax collectors. He told enough. You do the same. You only greet them that greet you. You only love them that love you. You only do good to those who are doing good to you. No. He says we should become perfect in our ways like our Father is perfect by blessing even our enemies. And folks, it's really not easy. Wait until that time where people really start cursing you and persecuting you and say all kinds of <coughs> unfriendly things. But we should have the attitude of Christ. Can you say Amen. We want to change, come on, this area. Amen. We trust God for revival in Pretoria North. Can you say amen? amen? The love of God will change lives. Amen. Love will always conquer. Amen. Your own family, maybe those in-laws that you don't like and they don't like you. How will you change them? I know it's only the Holy Spirit that can change lives, but God wants to use you. Yes. <laughs> By blessing people. And you won't believe how many people are sitting in church all over the world today. And even their own family is like enemies. They don't speak. They don't talk. People say, Pastor, you know, we don't talk for years now. What? Repent. Forgive. When? Now. Love. Bless. When? Now. Bless your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. And if you can wake up every morning by blessing also your enemies and start blessing your family and blessing your co-workers and blessing your boss, you will start changing the atmosphere wherever you go. Amen. The Lord spoke to me and said, you're an atmosphere changer. Yes, I am. Amen. And we can change it by blessing, by speaking words of life. Amen. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who indulge in it will eat the fruit of it. Amen. You can choose to bless. Amen. It's a decision. Can you say amen? amen? Come on, bless your siblings. Bless your parents. Bless your children. Bless your in-laws. Come on, pray for them and speak life. Pray for them and bless them. Many people pray for a miracle and then they speak death. And they can't understand why 
that prayers are not being answered. It's because you cancel your prayers by your words. Amen. What you pray and what you speak should be the same always. Amen. When you pray blessing, start speaking blessing. Hallelujah. This is the Lord. Amen. You can't pray one thing and speaking another thing. You cancel your prayers. Lord, give me a breakthrough. Lord, bless me financially. And then you speak all kinds of negative stuff of yourself. Oh, bless us, bless my family. And then you curse your enemy. I don't like you. <laughs> Jesus said, Oh, Heavenly Father, this is the context. He loves us all. Did you see the sun came up this morning? Yes. Huh? Did you recognize this morning that there's still air to breathe for all of us? Amen. Why? Because He's gracious to everybody. It's His will that everybody will get saved. Can you say amen? amen. How many of your family members aren't saved yet? You should start blessing them. You should start praying for them amen. before it's too late. He wants to use you to bless. And by blessing people, you will change lives. You will change your own life. You will change your atmosphere wherever you live and work and then we should bless our country check this out there's amen. many Christians and I just feel led to speak about this many people in South Africa curse the land because of all the evil things because of all the the bad things going on and I really believe that God is speaking this morning to us as a congregation and says start blessing your country Amen. Come on, there's life in our words. Don't curse the land that you are living in. Your children are living in. Come on, your grandchildren are living in. You will get what you say. Yes. Stop blessing the country. Can I get a big amen? amen? Yeah, there's many things that all of us don't like. You know, all the corruption and all the evil. And the murder and the rape and all those bad things, we don't like it. Who does? We don't like it. But as the church, as a voice of God, we should bless our country by speaking life, by speaking revival. Yes. Come on, by speaking victory, yes. by blessing the economy. Yes. You will get what you say. If you curse this land, your children are living in this land. You will reap what you sow. Like a it's really ridiculous to think that Christians are cursing this land. You say, what pastor are they doing? Many do. By speaking bad things, evil things, negative things. It's not a blessing. It's just, if it's not a blessing, it's really a curse. Stop blessing South Africa. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let's bless our leaders and pray for our leaders. And although we don't agree with everything, we pray. The church should bless. The church should pray. Amen. Amen. Bless Pretoria North. Come on, bless our congregation. Amen. Amen. And as you sow blessing, you will start reaping blessing. Amen. Get this whole series. It will really change your life. Amen. Start blessing your money. Start blessing your body. Don't say you ugly fat thing you <laughs> say you beautiful sexy one <laughs> you handsome one start speaking life of your wife and your husband and your kids and your grandkids come on somebody say amen, amen. start blessing your enemies start blessing your country start blessing your school your, your university your business we as Christians, you know the word Christian really means Christ-like. That's what the word means. Amen. And so many people call themselves Christians, but they're not. Many people call themselves Christians. I have to say this. Because they're not devil worshippers, or they're not Muslims, or they're not whatever. No, a Christian is Christ-like. A Christian is a Christ follower. Born again, come on, somebody that loves Jesus Christ. Amen. That are not ashamed of Jesus. Amen. 
We are not secret agents. No, we love Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen. But He loves everybody. And He wants to save everybody. And He wants to use us. He wants to use the church. And if the church can't bless, if the church can't love people, how will we make a difference in our communities? His love has no limits. God will use your words. He will use what's coming out of your mouth. Amen. Stop blessing those taxi drivers. Yes. <laughs> and everyone say, help us, Lord, please help us. <laughs> Ouch. I told you, it's not easy, but it's possible. Come on, stop blessing those neighbors. That's partying all the time. Making a noise when you want to sleep. You pray for those souls, and then sometimes you curse them. Oh, no. There's not anybody like that. Yeah, I know, but people do that. <coughs> Lord, save their souls, but take them to heaven right now, please, Lord. <laughs> we feel all like that. <laughs> what you sow, you will reap. Amen. Bless your neighbors. Lord, save their souls. Give them a desire also to come to church, to love the Lord, to pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, please set them free from that. <laughs> Let them repent. Bless them. Lord, give them a desire to love you, to worship you, Jesus. Amen. What you pray and what you speak should be in the life. same. The same. Yes. Amen. You cannot pray blessing and speak all kinds of negative things. Yes. Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. Check this out. Nevertheless, the Lord your God was not willing to listen to Balaam. But the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing for you. Because the Lord your God has loved you. Amen. Did you hear me then? God can turn the curse into a blessing. Amen. And He wants to bless His people. Why? Because He loves us. Yes. He wants to turn the curse into a blessing. Come on. In your own family. In your own life. Amen. But now the question is. Are you blessing? Check the revelation. You want God to turn the curse for you into a blessing. But are you blessing or are you cursing? Start blessing the country. May South Africa become the safest country in the world. Amen. Amen. Sounds radical, eh? Mm. Well, we serve a radical God. Amen. Come on. It sounds very dynamic, eh? We serve a very dynamic Jesus. Yes. Amen. He specializes in miracles. Amen. Amen. Bless the country. Bless the economy. Speak life. Yeah, we curse the works of Satan. Amen. But we bless people. Yes. Amen. We bless the church. Can you say amen? amen? We bless our enemies. Bless all those people that are working with you. Why? So that they can see Jesus in you. Amen. Otherwise, we won't make a difference. People must say, wow, I see Jesus in you. I want to be like you. And we all need the help of the Holy Spirit. So God says, I can turn the curse. How many of you believe with me that God can turn the curse into a blessing for this beautiful Amen. nation? Amen. Do you believe it? Yes. Amen. Yes. God can do it. Amen. He says, I did not allow Balaam to curse Israel. Why? Because I love Israel. Mm. So this morning, he loves the church. We are like the spiritual Israel. He loves us. Yes. And I want you to know that we can be like him. He wants to bless all of us. Let's create by our words. Let's speak life. Let's bless. Bless those family members. Come on, make your own list. Those people that don't like you. They are jealous of you. Oh, there's many. Don't take offense. 
Yeah, they don't like me. They're jealous of me. I don't want to speak to them. Now pray for them. And open your mouth and bless them so that God can use you to change their lives. Amen. Otherwise, Jesus said, you won't make a difference. Then you are only like all the others. You know, that they, they don't follow me. In fact, we should stand out. Come on, by the grace of God. Amen. By our words and by our lifestyles. Can you say amen? amen? We are not better than anybody else. Come on, somebody. But Jesus made the difference in our lives. Amen. Do you enjoy the word? Amen. Bless your country. Bless your enemies. Start doing it and you will see how God will, will bless you in a wonderful way. So, I want to bless you with the following, number 6. I want you to stand for a moment, please. Number 6, verse 22. Lift your hands, everybody. They're upstairs as well. Come on, flow with me, everybody. Lift your hands, let me bless you. This is powerful when your past is blessing you. Never miss out on this. Lift your hands and receive the blessing. And then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, come on, receive now. The Lord bless you and keep you, protect you, sustain you, and guard you. The Lord make His face shine upon you with favor and be gracious to you, surrounding you with loving kindness. The Lord lift up His countenance, His face upon you with divine approval and give you peace, a tranquil heart and life. Amen. And so Aaron and his sons shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Amen. Come on, clap for Jesus. Come on, give him praise. As you bless, you will be blessed. What you sow, you will reap. Amen. You know, it's crazy to think there's so many people, they say, Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me. That's what they pray. But they are cursing all the time. You will get what you say. Amen. Listen, for those of you who did not subscribe yet to our YouTube channels, do it. It's for free. Just put it down the board, please. Do it. And you can do it on your phone. Go to our website at Word and Spirit. Go to Henry Wilson. It's for free. And then you can get all the teachings for free on a weekly basis. And you can send it to your family and all your friends. Come on, there's so many people. We need to reach them with the Word. Amen. We need to help them. We need to bless them. Come on. The Lord says, I want to use you to bring hope and healing. Amen. Amen. So many of you, you did not subscribe yet. Do it on your phone. Do it, do it now. Do it later. Just do it. And then you get it. You will be notified. And then you can send it to, to your friends and to your family. Amen. We're on Facebook Live, so go on Facebook and, and, and help us share the Facebook Live meetings and make a difference by sharing this powerful word. So I pray that the Lord will help all of us. It's my prayer that we will all grow, that we will become like our Heavenly Father. Amen. By loving people, say amen. amen. By blessing amen. people, amen. by forgiving people. Yes. We cannot only love those who love us. Did you get this? You cannot, you cannot only forgive those who forgive you. Then you like the world. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Wow, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. amen. May the Lord bless you in this day. May you have a fantastic day. Come tonight, bring people with you. And uh, we're going to have a lovely time. Nice soup and bread. Mahala. <laughs> Fill your car. Do something for Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you.